Revit has a fittings classification called flange, and, and that's it, it can be the flange that you're thinking of. However, in Revit, it means just any fitting that's going to be forced at the end of a pipe. And here I'm going to draw a little bit. I've got two routing preferences set up here, pipe types. Uh, this threaded system is the way I like it, and threaded system two is using the flange uh, fittings. And even though it says threaded, I, I do have grooved sizes in there. So I'm going to draw a little bit of pipe. Just come over like this and over. And at the end of this pipe, it's forcing that coupling, or what Revit calls a flange, at the end of the pipe connecting to the elbow. And that's fantastic. I, when I saw that, I, I was very excited. I liked the idea of this a great deal. However, then I started finding problems with it. And then when I started finding problems with it, I found very annoying problems with it to the point of where I swore off using them ever again until something functional changed in Revit and it has yet to. So let's say I change this pipe to 4 inch. Now we have two what would be couplings forced at the same location at the same time. It's got the flange because it's going to force that fitting at the end of the pipe but also it's got to have a reducing that's the flange there. Apologize and get right there. That one. That's the reducing coupling because of the change in size of pipe. If you try and delete that flange, now you force the disconnect. If you try to reconnect it, it'll repopulate that flange because it's looking to force that. So the idea then might be to go in there and at least momentarily turn that off. So now we can delete this, reconnect it. Now that flange did not repopulate, but look what happened on the other side of the elbow. It reevaluated all the connections to that elbow and determined that the flange was no longer necessary and removed it. So then, if we come back into here, turn it back on, and reconnect it put the flange back, but now it's back over here as well. So that's one of the problems that I had. Here is another problem. In fact, this one is pretty bad. If I were to throw in a coupling, what Revit will try to do, and I'm going to click here and notice it did nothing, absolutely nothing, because it's trying to place a coupling between, it's trying to split the pipe, and when it does that, it forces two flange, trying to create a flange coupling flange, where they're all in the same spot, and Revit's not allowing that, so this simply can't happen. What if I were to draw this here, and not mess that up? So I've got a welded outlet, that flanged coupling, and a pipe. This looks fine. But if I go to a more coarse view, see it disappears. That there's no symbol, it just looks like there's a gap in the pipe. If I use the routing preference that has the couplings actually baked onto the grooved fittings, it looks exactly the same. But when I go into a coarse view, now I'm getting that tap symbol, but also if I want to use a coupling, we have no problem placing them. So this is why I never use a flange categorized fitting in a Revit project. I've seen them used. Uh, more often than not, you end up having to create uh, some sort of, or, you know, or have to use a program that can either harmonize by removing them and forcing the connection, or, or, or you end up just having to deal with it. And uh, personally, I don't like to deal with it. I, I like to use Revit in as much of its intended way 
as possible. And then when we built AutoSpring RBT around it, we try to take advantage of that. Now, if you have couplings like this where they're actually built into the elbow, you will absolutely run into scenarios such as this here if I want to reduce it. It's still on in the family, but we're also getting that reducing coupling. But we can then just honestly create a visibility parameter on that coupling and turn it off and it goes away and will not come back. So it really is much easier to use fittings with couplings that are actually nested into the fittings families versus using that flanged categorized fitting.